Hey guys, uh, here I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to grab uh, your data in Excel. So first off, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have uh, some labels and titles for your different things. So I'm going to get uh, use some data and enter it in um, on the uh, Excel and on an Excel spreadsheet about how, and this will help you with your density lab graphs. So first, I'm going to put my volume, my independent variable. Then I'm going to put my dependent variable. I'm going to say volume of water. Now, you see how this kind of goes into the next cell. What you can do is you can actually format your cell uh, to do a wraparound. And how do we do that is we go to the alignment font, and we can just say wrap text. And then we can have my whole uh, slide, uh, my whole cell there. And I want to put my units in milliliters. So I can I can adjust that so we can see that so it's uh, just how you like it and so you can see you can um, adjust the height of the cell as well and let's say I want the mass of water in grams I can do the same thing with that I can also go um, to uh, I think there's another place you can go to the format cell and you can go um, to alignment no nope, I guess not so you can go to the format cells here and under alignment wrap text and then uh, you can do that again there. So I'm going to enter in my data here. So the data I have is 2.65, 6.50. It's just the volume of water, and I'm reading that straight from my data table. And I can enter in my mass of water, which I calculated, 2.47 grams, 6.27 grams, and 9 0.08 grams. So now my data is in and I am ready to get started with my graph. So what I do is I select my data and I go up into the insert tab because I want to make a graph. And in, uh, in this case I want to do a scatter plot a scatter plot with only markers. Now uh, you're, it might be a little different uh, the setup and you can go to all chart types and you can see that they're all being there if you want to make a different type of chart but we're going to stick with an XY scatter for this one just a normal XY scatter and we can see that it is set up right here let me zoom out a little bit so we can see everything so uh, let's set this up as a new chart we can move this chart location to a new cell and then we can uh, label it something so it's more organized. We'll call it uh, density of water graph. And you see it's right here on the bottom tab. And I can just click back here and I can get uh, to my original spreadsheet. So I can change the title of this in a couple ways. I don't want it to be the mass of water as the title. So I can just click on it and I can uh, say this is uh, mass versus volume of water and uh, I'm almost done with my graph here but it's missing a couple things I don't have any uh, labels for my uh, spreadsheet and my graph and we know we need to say what you're uh, explain what you're putting on there for those axes so what I can do here is I can go over here and click chart layout key and I can put a chart I can access my chart title here and change my axis titles so I want to do my primary horizontal axis, and I want it to be below there, and I can call it whatever I want. I can go down here and add it, and I can say this is the volume volume of water in milliliters. I want to make sure I have my units and my labels. And I can also go change the font size. I can do it two ways. I can say I want it to be uh, that way. Oops, it didn't, click, didn't go. There we go. So I can select it and change it this way or I can select it the other way where I just said um, I need so that's good for my x-axis I also need to put on my y-axis go back to layout axis titles primary vertical axis now you can do this a couple ways we can uh, do a rotated title which I like the other ones are kind of harder to read or I can make a horizontal title but that kind of takes away from the graph so let's just do a rotated title that's what you'd probably do more like in your graphs and say this is the mass of water 
in grams. And I can change my font, uh, my font size, let's say 18, so I can read it, and that looks pretty good. Last thing I need to do is I need to add a trend line. So I want it to be a linear trend line. I want to make sure my intercept is zero, zero, so that uh, zero mass represents zero volume. I also want to display equation on my chart. I don't need to display my R squared value on the chart, but if you were uh, going into some uh, doing more statistics, you could do that. So let's close that. Um, and now I have everything. Let's uh, make, my, make my equation make, make more sense. I can make it a little larger so I can read it. And I can also change it to say my mass of water is equal to uh, 0 0.9605 times my volume. So that's my equation. This is where I'm going to get my slope. And if you notice, you can divide both sides by V here. And mass over volume is 0 0.9605, and that represents my density. So uh, the other thing to do if you're printing this out in a computer lab, you want to write your name up here. Uh, next to your title, so I'll write my name in there. So if you're, uh, if a lot of you guys are printing this in a computer lab, it can get a lot of confusing. Or if you don't staple it together, so uh, you want to make sure you save it. And that's about it, guys. So um, if you're having trouble with this, check out this uh, tutorial. Oops.